Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends if you remember that earlier we have raised one poll on the youtube as well as my telegram channel where so many people have recommended for the force point dlp solution as well as i got lots of comment as well as personal email on creating this particular series in dlp earlier we have covered telix dlp you can also call this as a macap dlp right so similarly in this series also we are going to cover each and everything as per the best of my knowledge if in case if you didn't know what is dlp is because this is a introduction video then dlp basically as by its name okay data loss prevention or data leakage prevention so the basically when you or let's say user share data out of his system right we can say outgoing data which means source would be your system and destination could be anything so when your data is going out of your system dlp helps to protect those data it's completely depend on what policy you have configured and how so you will be having complete control on your data which is present at your system and when those data is getting shared dlp enforce the restriction the data sharing will be only allowed to the whitelisted things and rest of the things it will get blocked so that your data will be secured there is a chance is that knowingly or unknowingly user may try to share the data so dlp is there to protect you and forcepoint is also one of the leader in dlp segment it has so many features okay and that is uh, we are going to cover in our practical videos and before i explain about this forcepoint let me just walk you through with a membership okay guys as you know that usually i upload videos on monday wednesday and friday at 10:30 or 11 uh, am ist time right so the people who subscribe to my channel or normal viewers who didn't subscribe for those users videos are getting delivered or published at 10:30 am on monday wednesday and friday however if you click on join button then there is a you know membership available that is starter membership you can simply you know take that membership and and you will get access to the latest videos so whatever the videos i have uploaded on my youtube channel you will get access to those videos and you will not be required to wait until and unless i publish to the all the peoples as soon as i upload the videos you will get the notification for that you will have to enable the bell notification for all my videos now talking to the forcepoint uh, security manager okay so forcepoint uh, here is my you know existing console where i have installed forcepoint dlp all through there is no policy configured here so far but in our practical videos will be uh, i'll be teaching you that how exactly this thing works like uh, what is uh, requ infrastructure required which means you can say the prerequisite from where you can download the setup what is the license you are uh, database installation then you are force point security manager installation as well as dlp component installation how to configure the policy your integration of force point dlp with various other servers and at the end how to implement the use cases or you can say the policy everything i am going to cover in my upcoming videos so as like me if you are also interested then please click on the like button and don't forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues who are also interested to learn the forcepoint dlp because this series is going to be very long i might create 15 to 20 videos or 25 videos to cover entire forcepoint dlp product as per best of the my knowledge and guys uh, once i end the series then i am getting lots of your comment that uh, sir please create video on this this topic but guys uh, once i end uh, the series then i usually don't touch the same product again because my other series are getting disturbed so whatever the questions you have related to postman dlp or if you want me to create the videos then always do comments and if i received multiple comments for the same topic then yes i will definitely create the video so guys that much of introduction is in if i believe and going further in next videos i will show you how exactly the postponed architecture look likes or where exactly the postponed dlp is placed in your environment so that's it for now this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye